Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be drafting Alta's neck that covers your boobs. So all you have to, all you need for this tutorial is your your pattern paper, a pair of scissors, your tape, a lining, then your fabric, and also your pins your calculator depending on if you want to use your phone your french curve and also a stress ruler also your marker so don't forget your body measurement so i'm going to use my body measurements for this tutorial the first thing we have to do is mark out our starting line i like using one inch as my starting line you draw a straight line to connect the lines that you have drew then after marking a straight line then you start marking out your body length so from here my bust is ten and a half then my waist which is the full length that i'm going to use for this tutorial will be 18 then 18 plus 18 plus half for hemming line so from this 10 i'm going to go up by two as my chest line so i'm going to mark it out eight and a half So I'm going to connect the lines like so. Then after marking out a straight line, here will be my center front. So I'm going to mark center front, that's CF. Then after marking my center front, I'll mark out my neckline. So I'll be using 3 inches by 3.5. So I'm going to go down by three and a half. I'm going to go down by by three. And I'm going to connect the line. So if you are big like size 14, you can use three and a half by three and a half. Then after I'm going to use my French curve to connect the lines. Just make your neck to be too deep so that the neck will not tug you so after marking out my neckline i'm going to connect my dad so i'll be using four inch that's nipple to nipple measurement you divide it by two so i'm i'm using eight eight divided by two will give me four and that is the standard so i'm going to connect this Here is my hem, here is my full length, here is my full length, here is my hemming line, here is my bust line, here is my chest line. So once you are through labeling, I'm going to connect, my bust is 38, 38 divided by 4, will give me 9.5, so my bust, I'm going to mark out 9.5 here. So before marking out my bust line, I'm going to subtract half inch here, then 0.75 inch here instead of half inch also on the hemming line. And I'm also going to go down by one inch. So I'm going to connect these lines like so. So if you don't have bust, then you can go by half inch on both sides. So once I have connected the lines like so, 9.5, I'm going to also mark 9.5 on the, on the chest line, which is like so. And I'm also going to connect it from this point, the neckline, to give you that outer effect, which is like so. 
So once you have connected the line like so, the next thing is to, to mark out your waistline. My waistline is uh, 30. 30 divided by 4 will give me 7.5. Remember that I subtracted 0 0.75 here and also um, 0 0.5 here. So 0 0.75 plus 0 0.5 which will give me 1.25 1.25 plus 7.5 which give us 8.75 let me repeat the waistline my round waistline is 30 30 divided by 4 is equals to 7.5 then this 0 0.75 plus 0 0.5 will give us 1.25 then 7.5 plus 1.25 will give us 8.75 so equals to 8.75 so that is the total of our waistline 8.75 so I'm going to mark it here so I'm going to connect these lines like so so I'm going to connect these lines like so so once I have connected the line, I'm going to add my uh, I'm going to add I'm going to add my post that so that here will not be too open. So remember my bust line, my nipple to nipple measurement is eight. So that's what I used here. Then eight divided by two will give me four. So I'm going to from this point that they stopped, I'm going to from this point go up by four inches so from this four inches i'm going to mark out 0 0.5 0 0.5 then from this 0 0.5 i'm going to go down by four also which is here so i'm going to connect like so connect this like so connect also this like so so once i have done that I want this to be all together with the back. I don't want any joining at this point. So I'm going to add 4 4 inches. I'm going to add 4 4 inches. Then I'm going to add 0, 0 0.5 inch. That's half an inch for my seam allowance. So I'm going to connect the line like so i'm also going to connect this line like so so once i have connected the lines i'm going to start adding my seam allowances to this so i'm going to add 0 0.5 here so since i have added my seam allowance this is the final look of this so remember that here is the back here becomes the center back because we are going to be adding our lace at the back so this becomes our center back so right now I'm going to start cutting it out so since I'm through cutting this out I'm going to place it on my fabric and also on my lining remember to fold your fabric and also your lining into two the left and the right side so we notch notching is very important so you notch to know where so I'm going to use my chalk I'm going to remove this thing to mark out remember to also use your back lining your wrong side of the fabric to to cut out so i'm going to turn this also 
and more comments. Then open this wide like so. I'm going to place the wrong side facing you. You're going to place the wrong side facing you while the right side will be inside when you stitch. So once you have arranged this, you have, you, you have to arrange. If yours is bad and not iron like my own, try as much as possible to iron yours so that you will have a very nice finishing. So the next thing, I will go ahead and cut out a very long strap for the loop and also for the lacing, depending on how long you want your lacing to be. After giving my fabric and my lining a very good press, I went ahead to the sewing machine to stand my stitches. So the first thing that I did was I started with the darts, with the waist darts. So when I was stitching the darts, I tried as much as possible to backstitch to have my stitches secured. So I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did on the other side. Firstly, the first thing that I did was to pick out my knot, my dart knot, then balance my dart legs together before stitching them. Guys, if you have reached to this point, please make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, drop your comments down below. I will be there waiting for you. So after stitching my waistline or my waist that's on the fabric, I went ahead to repeat the same thing on the lining. Guys, if you are using our lining as an interface, try as much as possible to be careful. This lining was a headache on its own. So I'm repeating the same thing that I did on the fabric and also on the other side of the lining on this part also. So guys, this gave me a very tough time because my boss was not balanced. I decided to stitch the two darts together, the waist darts and also the bust darts to achieve a princess dart. So here I have stitched the two darts together both on the fabric and also on the lining so you can see here that they are all joined together and when I balanced it on my bust it was super amazing and also the fabric on the fabric it was also cute I love it compared to when I used only only the two that separately so right now i'm trying to make my fabric and my lining to be on equal side so this is where your pin will come into play so i picked my pin up to pin the edges together starting from my waist starting from my neckline to the center back then to the edge of the hemline i'm going to repeat the same on the other side so when i'm done I went ahead to start stitching. Remember that we added half an inch, so I'm using half an inch to stitch my seam allowance. Remember to back stitch also. Please, when you come to a place where you have that, you have to stitch the lining of the that and also the fabric that. Try to place them opposite each other to avoid that place to be bulky.
so i'm trying to balance my fabric with my lining so that they will be equal so i'm going to repeat this on the other side note and very important when using pin to stitch remember to remove them once you are through so that you will not have any injury also your client will not experience injury when putting his or her clothes so i'm repeating the same process i did on the other side and also try to place my my dart opposite each other so that that place will be flat and i'm also using half an inch to stitch So after stitching, I cut out my thread, then notch my armhole and also try to notch the back or where I stitched so that when I turn it, it will have a very nice and flat area or that place will be flat. So after knotting on both sides, I trimmed out the excesses that I have also on both sides. Then after cutting it out, after cutting the excesses out, I cut out my loops, cutting out 3 inches each. Then I cut out 10 pieces making it five five on both sides so here after my stitch i max out my first point then start marking two two inches for my loop spacing i repeated the same process on the other side so i marked out using two inches as my first mark then immediately after the stitch i marked down two inches down at the second then marked out the third the fourth and then the fifth so after marking it out, I twisted my loop and start attaching it in between the lining and the fabric and I'm using half an inch to stitch. Please try as much as possible to double stitch your loops. Then after attaching my loops, I tried to sew the hemming side but I ended up not getting the lining and the fabric. So I repeated the same process of attaching the loop on the other side using half an inch and marking out two inches spacing to attach the loop. So I'm using the lining side to stitch the lining and also the fabric together. So here you can see we are balancing them together and also losing the stitch that I did earlier on so that I will have a very nice finishing. So after I trimmed out the edges so that the edges will be flat and I am marking out the center neckline. Also, I cut out 65 inches long loop and I marked out the center and I'm attaching them to the and I'm touching the rope to the center neckline. Then cut out the SS, pin them together and start stitching. You can see here, I changed the color of our thread to the color of the bias so that it will not look childish. So I'm using the color of the bias to finish up our altar neck. So here, after reaching, after stitching it on the neckline, I try to stitch the bias first then turn it up to use the bias also to finish the neckline but remember to trim out the excesses out so right now i'm using the bias to turn the stitches but if you are good with binding you can just sew straight away 
try as much up try as much as possible to trim out the excesses when attaching your bias or using your bias as a finishing so, so guys, this, this is, is the wrong side of our otter's neck top is quite amazing so and the wrong cute side i so much love it this, this is, is the right the side right of our side otter's neck. the other is the wrong side so right here is the right side you can see the color pop up like so. that the bias gave to so this is how our otter's it's neck. supposed to be see our loop and also how, how the other snake is looking so right now i'm deciding so I'm how to, to attach our, our lace up but rope. i decided to make it simple and cute depending on how you want to style so yours. after attaching the first one i decided to do a so depending on how you want to style your rope a lace a cross up lace up so, so you can you style can your lace up anyhow that you want it so far you are comfortable so um, and uh, yeah. good to go with it so guys this is a reminder it's for you good, yeah. to subscribe to our youtube channel so and make that I sure the rope, um, you turn on the notification inches, bell so that you will be I the first to know when we upload so after attaching it to so the third one room. i noticed that the 65 yeah, inches five long so. rope is too small for me so when doing yours try as much as possible to make your rope to be longer than 65 inches you can see it's 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 small i so much love the color combination of this that's how so after making it i tried it on myself i was not able to fit the last row so i'm going to put the, it on then the, the altar's neck top was like. super cute on me then i tried it on my younger sister and she was super happy because it fits her very well this is the back this is the back and it's very nice then this is the front so this can fit all body size but make yours to be longer i love you make sure you subscribe bye